Um, hello, hockey fans. Um, once again, uh, yes, I've already said my piece about the Avalanche and how we've been doing. Uh, it's up on YouTube already. Uh, we're on a bad low. We've lost four in a row, and um, we just need to get it together. That's that's all I'm, more I'm going to say about it. Uh, but here we are. It's the final week of the regular season, and uh, there's still quite a bit to be settled. Uh, the season ends Friday, and yes, it ends Friday. I know we got the leftover game from for, uh, play for, set for next Sunday between Seattle and Winnipeg, but that game's irrelevant because um, uh, both teams are eliminated from for the playoffs, so that's just going to be done to complete the season. But the for, but in reality, the season ends on Friday. We got a lot of days left, and because of that, I'm not going to go through the standings. I'm instead well, uh, I'm not just going to. Um, I'm not just going to list the standings um, bit by bit. I'm just going to tell. I'm just going to tell you what what the bracket looks like at the moment because a few pieces are in place so far. The only pieces that we, the only piece in the Eastern Conference we know, Florida's the number one seed. They're going to host. They're going to have home ice throughout the entire Eastern Conference portion at least. They still have a shot at the uh, um, at least. Uh, they're a few points away from getting the Presidents Trophy. Um, but Florida is cemented as the number one seed in the in the Atlantic Division bracket. They're going to face whoever the um, they're going to face whoever the wild card, the, the the second wild card is. But that's still up for grabs because Boston and Washington are separated by three points with three games left. Um, as far as the other Atlantic semifinal, that's it looks like it's it looks like it's going to be Toronto and Tampa Bay, but that's not official yet. Because uh, Tampa's only three points ahead of Boston with uh, three games to go. Um, neither neither series in the Metropolitan is set in stone. All we know is, all we know is, uh, uh, one series is going to have Carolina, the Carolina Hurricanes with home ice advantage, and the other is going to have the Rangers home ice advantage. Their seeds aren't up for grabs because they're still playing for the division title. Um, in the in the West, a few more things are a bit certain. The Avs are the number one seed overall in the in the Western Conference, and of course, number one in the in the Central bracket. We will face whoever gets the second wild card. And it looks like it's either going to be Nashville or Dallas because Vegas is <laughs> hanging in there, uh, is is on their way to be eliminated. Um, we do know this: the other Central semifinal series. We do know it will. It is official. It will be the Blues versus the Wild. So that's one series locked in. The only thing we don't know. Is who's gonna have home ice advantage? Because that's still that's still up for grabs between those two. It's a tight, close, uh, neck and neck battle for positioning, and it's um, and it's uh, Minnesota and St. Louis tied in points with 109, but the uh, but the Wild have a game in hand. They play 79 games. St. Louis has played 80. Um, as far as the Pacific bracket, uh, Calgary did clinch the division. Uh, uh, Calgary did clinch the division, so we do know they're going to be the number one seed in the Pacific Division bracket. But that's all we know. Um, it does look like um, this, the the other series will be Edmonton and and the Kings beat them. Edmonton. They clinched the spot this this past week. They're the only team that did. They got the spot on Friday. Uh, so um, there's three spots left in the Eastern Conference, and. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, uh, it does look like it's gonna be uh, Edmonton and LA, but that's not officially set in stone because neither team has clinched uh, at least the top three spot in the division. So um, that's that's what the bracket looks like now. The final pieces will be filled in in the final days of the season. And now let's get to the final schedule. Like I said, we already know. A meaningless game will, will officially end the regular season on May 1st. It'll be Seattle, Seattle and Winnipeg. A meaningless game uh, plays tomorrow night. It's the only game on the schedule, and it's on ESPN who on um, at, in their hockey night banner. Uh, the Blackhawks host the, the, the Flyers. Yay. <laughs> the real action is Tuesday, and I've got good news for you hockey fans. Vegas' season can end on Tuesday. The important game's on Tuesday. The Nashville Predators host the Calgary Flames, and the Dallas Stars host the Vegas Golden Knights. The LA Kings are idle that day, but they can get in. Here's how. Nashville and Calgary, Nashville's magic number is two points. If they win in any fashion, doesn't matter how, if they win, they're in. That leaves two more spots left. 
uh, Dallas and Vegas. That's an important one. If Dallas beats Vegas in uh, pass regulation, overtime shootout, then um, the Kings or the Kings will be in. If they beat a regulation, Dallas will join them. So, which means, if Nash on uh, Tuesday, if Nashville wins, in in, in any way, shape, or form, uh, regulation overtime shootout doesn't matter how. If Nashville wins, and if Dallas wins in regulation, then Vegas' season is over because Dallas, Nashville, and LA will all be in. Those last three spots will belong to them, and Vegas, for the first time in franchise history, will be eliminated from uh, playoff contention, and it couldn't happen to a nicer team. Uh, the Avs host uh, the Blues. That's uh, that Tuesday on ESPN. It, that's actually it's part of a doubleheader. It's, it's part of a doubleheader. The first game is uh, the uh, Penguins hosting the Oilers, and then it's the Avs hosting the Blues. And hopefully, that's going to be the game where we get our get our groove back, preparing for the playoffs. <laughs> All right, and uh, Wednesday, of course, no more. T- there's no. There's no more TNT games in the regular season because um, of the NBA playoffs coverage. But um, but yeah, because TNT had their final game with the the Penguins and Flyers uh, earlier today. Um, when you know Wednesday, there's no TNT games, and uh, as far as important games, the Kings play Seattle. That might be for a clinching spot if nothing goes go right, but they should be they should clinch before they enter Seattle. Uh, Thursday the twenty eighth. Thursday the twenty eighth. NHL Network has the Flames of Minnesota. Uh, Carolina's hosting New Jersey. Oh, um, I have to mention I have, I have to mention this. Carolina's facing the Rangers that Tuesday as well. That's an important game. That that uh, Carolina could clinch the division that night. I think so. Um, but yeah, Thursday, the 28th, NHL Network will have the Wild hosting the Flames. And also a big game between the Avalanche and Predators. It's always fun when those two face, face each other. Uh, <laughs> and um, on, uh, on the final day, the real final day, uh, Pittsburgh hosts Columbus. Avs in the, in the regular season in Minnesota. St. Louis hosts Vegas. Uh, Rangers host Washington. Uh, uh, Toronto hosts Boston. That's gonna be interesting. But every everything, and I do mean everything. I think the pieces of the bracket should be filled up entering Friday the twenty ninth. It really should be. Uh, if not, some games will need some games will need uh to fit those final pieces of that wonderful jigsaw puzzle. Uh, Seattle's well, oh yeah, well Seattle's regular season actually ends on that extra day, so. They'll, so on May first, Seattle will have completed their first full season of play. Uh, so, um, oh, uh, NHL Network has uh, yeah, St. Louis and Vegas on that final day on the 29th. So that's what we have to look forward to on the final week. The playoffs start on May second, which is uh, next Monday, and um, for the first time since 2004, uh, playoff games will be on ESPN and ABC. I really love that. I do. I do. I've said this before. I really did enjoy when ESPN and ABC had um, NHL coverage, and uh, especially since it was back during the heydays when the Avs and Red Wings were like two of the best teams in the league back then, and the Stars were pretty good. The Devils and uh, the the, um, the Bruins and Senators were pretty good. But yeah, it was a great period back then. So, as I said, uh, ESPN ESPN will have um, the playoff coverage. And, um, of course, TNT will be involved for the first time ever. Uh, they'll be airing, well, actually, TNT and TBS will get involved, get involved because TNT will also be airing the NBA playoffs, so that, that opens up for TBS to start airing some Santa Cup playoff games. Uh, the final this year will be on, uh, ABC. And, um... Yeah, it's, I just can't wait. I just want May 2nd to get here. But, um... But yeah, so that's my recap of the week that was. Uh, if you like this video, click the like button. Click subscribe if you want more. My story about the Oilers clinching will be in the description below. So um, check out when you can. I'll be back on Friday night to recap the whole the, 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 the home stretch and to get you ready for the playoffs on May 2nd. So 
that's my recap of the week that was, so stay tuned.